Dan, uh, Monterey High School was not forgotten in all of the festivities today. They were honored with golden footballs for alumni who have gone on to play in past Super Bowls. Two of those alumni, uh, Nate Wright and Herm Edwards, were both at the ceremony today. Former NFL star and Sports Center analyst Herm Edwards was back on the field at Monterey High School Monday, proving to students that if you have a plan, you can achieve your goals. This is a country that whatever you want to become, if you work hard at it, you'll have an opportunity to do that. Edwards and fellow Monterey alumni Nate Wright were there as part of Super Bowl 50's Golden Football Awards. What they've done is they've gone back and asked all coaches, players, whoever participated in Super Bowls in the last 50, they're going to give your high school, if you'd like, a golden football. It's a great pleasure to be here for this presentation. It's quite an honor. While only two NFL stars were at the school, Monterey High School is actually receiving three golden footballs. Thanks to Monterey grad Charlie Haraway, who also played in a Super Bowl. And on Monday, all three of their jerseys were retired at the all-school assembly. So it allows young men to dream and all athletes to dream and know that it just because you're here in such a small area doesn't mean you can't have big dreams and those dreams can in fact be realized if you work hard. To help young athletes at the school get a little bit closer to their dreams, Edwards Charity, the Youth Foundation, presented a check for $10,000 to the school's football program. Well, it's important to give back to the community. Um, I grew up in this community. I've been here since I was five years old, obviously. And giving back is exactly what he did Monday through his actions and his words. Have a plan for your life. And it starts now. Don't wait. The Monterey Peninsula has produced a lot of Super Bowl talent. Ron Rivera, coach of the Panthers, went to Seaside High School. He also won Super Bowl 20 when he played for the Chicago Bears. The uh, district plans to honor Seaside High School as well in a ceremony after all of the Super Bowl hubbub is over.